Hi everyone, my name is Leila and today I want to show you my top 10 fragrances that I think can easily substitute for you uh, very expensive niche fragrances or um, boutique line designer fragrances like private designer fragrances that are, are also very expensive but without sacrificing the quality. This is very important because I think um, all the fragrances that you will see today have very adequate and balanced um, combination uh, price versus quality um, and sometimes even the fragrance that you will see today uh, for me personally I need to say that's very subjective is better than the original is better than the fragrance it was inspired by and I want to start um, my today's video with this particular case um, and this is the Amber Oud Tobacco Edition by Al Harmain this is an Arabic brand um, and um, I by the way, like the way it's packaged, I like the flacon, it's uh, very well made. This is metal and this is metallic cap. Um, and this is a fragrance that was uh, pretty much inspired by Tobacco Vani by Tom Ford, very well known and loved uh, by people around the world. However, for some reason, every time when I tried uh, Tobacco Vani in the store several times, I ended up feeling that this is a highly overpriced fragrance. and. Um, for me it was quite flat and all I could smell there was a, a sweet vanilla cookie. That's it. It was quite linear and flat fragrance for me and I expected much more elegance and sophistication from the fragrance that uh, is $200 plus. However, I found everything I was uh, looking in tobacco honey in this particular fragrance because for me it has uh, much more complexity. This is a spicy tobacco mixed with lots of vanilla but vanilla here is, is, is only a frame of the picture. It's not a picture itself, I would say, but it's a very beautiful frame that suits the picture a lot. Um, I would say, comparing to Tobacco Vani, um, this fragrance has different accents, whether Tobacco Vani has an accent on a vanilla and a, a more gourmand side, this one um, is more tobacco and spices rather than vanilla, and this is what I like more. I'll tell you a short story behind this fragrance. When I uh, sprayed it in the store. We have uh, Al Harmain stores in Dubai here in uh, almost every mall uh, and I managed to find a store next to my house and the mall next to my house and I sprayed it on my hand and uh, then I was walking around the mall visiting the shops and um, I even forgot that I, that I sprayed it. Probably after 20-30 minutes I was trying the shoes in one of the shops and next to me sat a man um, and I could smell a gorgeous divine smell from him and I turned in my head to look who is that. So for me this is a head turner definitely. Uh, but then the man is gone, he left and the fragrance was still there and that's the moment when I realized that it wasn't the man, it was me and that was uh, I mean, um, Amber Oud Tobacco Edition and that is one of the um, facts that motivated me to uh, purchase this fragrance uh, in full bottle. So I don't regret because this is a beautiful, beautiful, um, again, combination of uh, dry tobacco leaf, um, lots of different spices like pepper, like um, cloves and um, star anise. I'm not a fan of star anise, but I love it here. Um, and it has dried fruits, a very prominent aspect of dried fruits uh, and lots of vanilla. And by the way, it's very important that this fragrance outperforms tobacco vanilla in terms of longevity, sillage and a projection because this fragrance lasts and lasts. Uh, even on skin it lasts all day long. I'm not talking about the clothes and hair. Like it, it lasts until you wash um, the clothes. And it's very important because uh, the recent formula of tobacco vanilla is unfortunately already watered down. And again, um, in terms of quality, the way this fragrance is uh, blended, it's very well blended and very balanced and very round and polished type of fragrance. I would say it worth all the money and even more and believe me, even if, if it was in a different uh, uh, flacon and a different name, a uh, very expensive brand, I would say you would never be surprised. If you're looking for a fragrance that is similar but even better, more elegant, more deep, uh, expensive smelling, a uh, fragrance that lasts really really long um, and costs a fraction of the price, I will highly suggest you to try um, Amber Oud Tobacco Edition. It's very important to remember that this is a tobacco edition because Al Harmin has three similar flacons, uh, similar bottles 
with the same na name, Amber Oud, uh, but they all are different. Um, I think another one is a gold edition, so bear in mind that this is tobacco edition. Another fragrance from the same brand that I purchased without knowing um, that I was an inspired fragrance, I just liked it by itself, was Janu Noir from Al Harmain. Um, I don't like this packaging, by the way. I prefer the packaging of uh, Amber Oud. Um, this is a uh, fragrance inspired by Dama Bianca from Zerjovka Samarat. But I found this after probably one year after I purchased this fragrance. Uh, when I tried it in the store, uh, I liked it, but I have chosen another one, which was just Janun, I think, without Noir, just Janun. And when I came back home uh, and I smelled Janun Noir from my wrist, I loved it so much that I went back to the store and I exchanged the fragrances um, and I ended up with Janun Noir. This is a very fruity, floral, powdery fragrance that is very molecular, it really spreads, it fills the room. Um, I mean, the synthetic nature of this fragrance is very obvious, but it's not bad. It smells synthetic, not in a bad way. Something that you can easily wear during the summertime as well. Um, it's a bit sweet, as I said, a bit floral, a bit powdery, um, airy, light. It's not thick, it's not that um, dense type of fragrance, but very noticeable. I will tell you, I sprayed, um, like I used this on my shirt um, and the next day I was wearing the same shirt sitting next to my son, he told me, Mom, you smell fantastic. Um, and again, this is um, about the performance of this fragrance. It's very long lasting. Um, whether the Uzerjovka uh, Samarati Dama Bianca is not lasting at all. I would say probably this fragrance is not that smooth uh, like Dama Bianca. It's not that creamy. However, again, um, the, the similarity is there. It's definitely very, there. these are very similar fragrances. And um, in the sillage, people will not be able to uh, differentiate them. And uh, again, price versus quality is definitely um, says to the benefit of um, Al Harmin um, Janu Noir. Another fragrance that I purchased without knowing that this is a, an inspired fragrance is a fragrance from a third collection, and this is Al Rayhan. I love this color, the, amber, uh, the uh, emerald color of the bottle. And I tried it in the store again, like this is not a blind buy, and I liked it a lot. It's citrusy, it's floral, uh, it's very fruity, it's a bit powdery also, um, it's very fresh, a bit green, gorgeous fragrance. And it's very similar to, I would say it's a dupe, for Barredo Baldafric. I tried Barredo Baldafric, but I couldn't appreciate that fragrance because it's, it evaporated from my skin within one hour. Like, I tried it uh, in the mall, um, I liked the opening, but after, I don't know, 30 minutes, it was faded and I could hardly even smell it and within one hour it's gone. Um, with this fragrance, I could smell even in the store, even in the car, and even when I came back uh, home and I could um, see that beauty, I could smell that. And uh, frankly speaking, this is, this is what I pay for. First of all, I pay for the beauty of the fragrance, definitely. This is a priority number one. but. It's very important for me that I can appreciate this beauty and I can uh, feel, uh, I can get that pleasure I'm paying for myself, first of all. I'm not talking about the people around me, I'm not wearing fragrances to please the crowd. First of all, I want to please myself because I pay that money uh, to get that pleasure, first of all. And for me, it's very important that I can feel the smell within four to five hours at least. So if the fragrance is beautiful, amazing, gorgeous, I don't know, masterpiece, but it's gone within an hour, it's not enough for me, unfortunately. Um, probably it's not a very popular opinion, however, again, uh, for me it's important. That's why I prefer uh, Al Rayhan, because it lasts longer. It lasts at least four to six hours solid, for six hours on my skin, and longer, even longer on my clothes. Um, and it's well blended, it's quite round, it's um, a beautiful fragrance that I loved and only after I purchased it I realized that this is a copy of uh, uh, Baltic Afrique. But again, 
um, a very high quality, I would say, inspired fragrance, as well as the next one also from a dark collection that I fell in love with. Uh, it's called Azora. And this is a dupe for I mean, the inspired fragrance by um, Fleur Narcotique by Ex Nihilo. However, I prefer this one. Why? I'll tell you now. Because this fragrance gives me different vibes uh, other than Flora Critique and I like the vibes of this fragrance much more. First of all, it's more positive for me because it's more fruity. Um, I believe again the accents are a bit different. Um, here it's more fruity, more peachy, lychee, um, less musky. Um, when I smelled Flora Critique, I had it in a decant together, by the way, with uh, Delina by Parfums de Marley. I disliked both, both of them. Why? Because the musk there was so scratchy, so screaming, and so dense, thick, annoying. It, I had a headache. And um, when I compared those two fragrances, like they, they were very similar to me. The Florian Critique and um, um, Delina Parfums de Marley, they had the same musk. I realized that what uh, you know joins this fragrance together is the uh, type of musk there. I don't know, probably it was a wrong time, wrong temperature, but I disliked both of those fragrances. However, when I tried Azora, I straight away liked it because the musk here is different. It's softer, it's not that, uh, it doesn't scratch you, you know, it's not screaming, it's not. Um, that harsh, it's very soft. This fragrance creates the images of me sitting somewhere on the beach, on the seaside, in some beach club with a cool music. Um, I'm very young and around me lots of people. They are happy. Everyone is probably dancing even. Um, it's very positive and optimistic fragrance and I am drinking a cocktail which has a peach yogurt inside. Probably Flora Critique is a more potent and more um, stronger and longer lasting than this one, than Azora. However, the type of musk that I smell here is my type of musk, the musk that I like and I can tolerate. Another fragrance is uh, by uh, Chopard and this is Love. And this is a very similar to this, the fragrance again from Chopard, from a private line, from a boutique line. Um, it's called uh, Rose de Caroline or Rose de Caroline. And that fragrance is very expensive, by the way. But if you look in the Fragrantica, you will see that um, it's also compared to uh, Purpura by Tiziano Terenzi, which is also very uh, similar to uh, Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Mal. I would say um, this fragrance is quite similar to Purpura by Tiziano Terenzi, which is quite um, expensive. And I had Purpura in my collection, but I couldn't wear it and I sold it. For me, it was too dry. Um, but this one is really pleasant and I like it even more than Purpura. And um, I would say Purpura was... Um, it, it lacked sweetness uh, and I wanted that sweetness in the purpura but here it's really well balanced and I feel a uh, jammer rose it's quite sweet but at the same time I can feel the patchouli in this fragrance the more by the way I have it the longer it stays um, the more patchouli I can feel here and the more resemblance it gives me to the purpura by the way but it also very similar as I said to the more expensive version of Chopard um, which is Rose de Caroline and that fragrance is $200 plus, but this one is around $50. Uh, and I purchased, by the way, even for $40 uh, online. That's why I can highly recommend you if you like. Um, it's from the same family as a Portrait of a Lady, uh, Purpura, and uh, Rose de Caroline. The Caroline um, so if you like those fragrances, the most probably you will like this. It's all about rose, all kind of rose. Uh, you can imagine, like, Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose, Thai rose, Markan rose, every type of rose. Um, mixed with patchouli is what I feel here, what I smell here, and cacao, and a bit powdery. Um, but altogether, I would say it's a jammy rose, but it's a lucent rose. It's, it's um, uh, quite light uh, in terms of um, the color. It's not dark. This fragrance is definitely not dark. 
um, so it's perfect for the daytime as well as the nighttime really suits so any occasion I would say in any time of the day uh, but it has a decent performance but it's not a beast mode that's why it's a perfect fragrance for every day it's not too loud it stays like five to six hours which is enough for me um, and I like it. The next fragrance is also about rose and this is Nina Rich's Lake Stars Rose Absolute and this is a fragrance that is very similar to Maison Francisco John Oud Satin Mood because it was created by the same uh, perfumer by Francisco John in 2017. Um, this is a rose, very beautiful, sensual, smoky, dark, um, gothic, um, a little bit gothic, nighttime rose, very jammy, sweet, but at the same time dark. Um, I think this is a perfect fragrance for night out, but it's, it's perfect for the date probably, but not the first one, definitely, uh, because it is so potent and loud that you can scare your partner. Altogether, I would say the quality is very high for this fragrance. It definitely smells like a niche fragrance, uh, and it's really very similar. It's a, like a woody, smoky rose. Um, it probably has an illusion of presence of oud here, but it doesn't have any oud in the pyramid. This is a Thai if rose, by the way. And I think this illusion is created by the patchouli, and patchouli darkens this fragrance a lot. It also has benzoin that creates this woody and a bit raisinous aspect. Um, and altogether, I can say, I can highly recommend this fragrance for its price. It, it smells much more expensive than it costs, definitely. And the next fragrance, I would say it's original and it was an inspiration for a more expensive um, boutique line, like private line of uh, Chanel. I'm talking about Chanel Psychomore. And this is a very budget um, analog, a very budget um, fragrance that smells very similar. Um, this is Ancre Noir by Lalique. And I think you know this fragrance, it's very uh, well known and very popular. Um, it's translated as black ink and it definitely smells like black ink. It's amazing, it's really really beautiful and it's one of the first fragrances, first bottles that I purchased uh, in my collection and I bought it for my husband and he fell in love with this fragrance as well as me. I think this is a a uh, very unisex fragrance and I wear it myself when I wear total black and uh, I want to you know emphasize the blackness of my look of my outfit I use uh, in kind of art. it's like a dark forest it's like the gloomy weather it's like the ambience you can smell and or you can feel or you can see in the Wuthering Heights movie um, it's gothic it's dark it's like a really really dark forest uh, this is a fragrance all, all about vetiver, uh, cypress, um, it has cashmere wood and it has some musk but I would say the vetiver is the main role player in this game. Um, it's a gorgeous fragrance that really similar to Chanel Sycamore. Why? Because when I tried fragrances from uh, Chanel, uh, the boutique, the private line, uh, I tried six or seven, I didn't like any of them. Unfortunately, I'm not a Chanel girl. And the only fragrance from the boutique line that I really liked was Le Lyon. That was a very recent uh, release by Chanel. Um, however, all the rest, uh, unfortunately, are not my cup of tea. Um, and the only fragrance that I was given, that was the last one that time, it was a couple of years ago, um, in Bloomingdale's, uh, that was uh, Chanel Sycamore. And I liked it. I liked it straight away. And when I gave it to my husband, I said, listen, I, I love it. Um, it's, it's beautiful, but I can't uh, figure it out what fragrance it's similar to. It smells so familiar. And he says, don't you recognize this is Ancre Noir by Lalique? It's definitely uh, true. And these fragrances are very similar. And I liked Chanel Sycamore because it's very similar to Ancre Noir. I have an old bottle, it's almost empty because that's the one my I bought. No, this is the second bottle because one bottle we finished, my husband finished and I also uh, used that one and this is the second bottle and I believe it. if it was transparent, you could see that this is uh, probably less than half left. Um, and we love this fragrance so much that we have all the flankers of Anka Noir. Um, and because this is an old bottle, an old formula, it's long lasting, I'm afraid uh, 
new um, uh, formula is a bit more watery but still very beautiful still very beautiful and very budget it's like here you can buy it for 25 30 dollars maximum online the next fragrance was inspired by a uh, well-known and very popular and the best seller from amouage um, men uh, it's interlude and for me this is um, Shakhab Udabiad by Swiss Arabian and this fragrance probably in the start is a bit darker than the uh, interlude by but, but in the um, middle notes and in the base they are absolutely identical you will not be able to differentiate these two fragrances even if they are both on your skin uh, and especially in the sillage this fragrance has bergamot it has clara sage like the top notes are lighter however the, the, the all the darkness and the hard but I can smell it straight away um, it has olibanum, opaponex, mirror, uh, amber um, it has leather, patchouli, oud like it has everything to darken this fragrance it has smoke um, so it's very smoky um, and all together they, they, all these uh, ingredients they create the, the illusion of um, incense uh, which is uh, Amouage is all about, the interlude is all about incense so it definitely they are definitely very very similar but especially in the middle notes and the bass um, this fragrance reminds me and it, you know it takes me back to my childhood when I was seven eight years old walking back home from school uh, passing by the park in the autumn uh, with uh, burning autumn leaves dry leaves that were burned and that smoke I love that smell um, and it reminds me of that uh, that's why I love this fragrance it has an amazing performance really good performance lasts all day long it has a very noticeable projection and a sillage so um, don't over spray and it has a very good and very attractive price uh, again comparing to Amouage Interlude uh, so I can highly recommend this fragrance as an alternative a more budget one another fragrance i think this fragrance inspired the very expensive private line of tom ford's fragrances one of them which is a lavender extreme and this fragrance is very similar uh, and it was created before tom ford's lavender extreme i'm talking about uh, lavande by molinard so this is very creamy, sweet vanillic lavender. And this lavender is really natural smelling. It smells very close to the nature. Like let's say if you go to Provence and you go to the shops uh, where they sell the lavender soap, lavender candles and everything lavender, it smells like this. Very naturalistic, a bit medicinal, I would say even very calming. Uh, lavender first of all yes what you can see you can smell is mostly like the very prominent and loud medicinal lavender and clary sage but probably up to 10 to 15 minutes it softens and you can smell a lot of tonka beans and vanilla there it becomes more creamy it becomes more inviting cozy very cozy fragrance I would say of the highest quality if you can find it unfortunately it was discontinued and by the way it lasts much longer than lavender extreme so if you can find this fragrance um, I would say go for this one instead of lavender extreme because it's um, it's more beautiful it's richer it's deeper it's more sophisticated it's more complex I would say and it lasts longer and it's much much cheaper than lavender extreme and the last but not least is the fragrance that I adore and this is something very similar to Love Don't Be Shy by Killians and this is Gimov by Le Nut Gourmand um, from Reminiscence and um, I would say I, per I, blind I purchased this fragrance blindly and I loved it because yes you can say that it's gourmand but this is a very intelligent gourmand fragrance because in all the sweetness by the way it's translated as marshmallow from French um, it definitely has that little tiny you know spoon of tar in the barrel of honey that makes this fragrance more interesting that gives some you know uh, character to this fragrance makes it more much more interesting um, and not straight away 
uh, food-like gourmand. Uh, it has a, a sweetness, definitely. It's very sweet, like marshmallow-like fragrance, but it has also some fresh aspect of um, mint. Um, it has, I think, clary sage probably. It has some herbs there, definitely. Um, it has a uh, ambergris that gives a bit of salty um, hint to this fragrance that I really love. But altogether, it's really beauty beautiful. It's creamy, it's pink, definitely. It's girly, it's youthful, but at the same time, very cozy and comforting type of fragrance that I can highly recommend. It's well blended, it's round, it's polished, and um, high quality fragrance that is very similar to Love Don't Be Shine. If you don't want to pay, uh, you know, five times more, uh, I highly suggest you to try Gimo from uh, Reminiscence. Really gorgeous fragrance and also long lasting. Um, it lasts on the clothes days and days until you wash them. Um, it's quite cozy and it creates a bubble around you, so it's not very loud and it doesn't create the trails uh, for the kilometers, no. However, it's prominent, you can smell it from yourself and you can get the pleasure you pay for. So um, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed my today's list. I hope it will help you to save. Thank you very much for watching me. If you liked uh, my content and if you liked today's video, I would appreciate if you support me with your likes because my channel is quite new and it's still growing. That would be um, really a uh, huge support. Uh, if you give me a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed, I invite you to do so. Don't forget to press that notification bell to be notified about my next release. I try to um, uh, publish videos every Saturday, every week. Um, if you um, are interested to see the other bottles and new bottles I uh, purchase and uh, before they appear here in the video, I invite you to visit my Instagram and follow me. Um, thanks again for watching me. I wish you a great, great weekend and great week ahead. And as always, I hope to see you in my next video next week. Bye.